That's what a growth mindset does. It, it has the courage to identify where's my gaps, and then it's the courage to develop them. You know, I was listening the other day to Alex Hormozzi, and I love what he said. He said, you're not as good as you think you are. And I just love that because, you know, he, you could tell it was with empathy. I mean, in lots of other contexts, that same guy will say, you're amazing. But he said, if you're as good as you think you are, then you wouldn't have any problem attracting the business that you're looking to attract. And it helped me to realize that there's so much power in the vulnerability that comes from a growth mindset that says, I haven't yet arrived. I haven't yet fully fulfilled the thing, whatever the thing is for you. And so what does it look like to identify the critical skills that you need in your industry, in your business, in your thing, in your nonprofit? What are the skills that you need? Because unless you've completely arrived, you all have a skill gap. 